what's going on guys, it's your boy Jace Power bringing you the next episode of the Pokemon Fire Red Walkthrough. You are currently watching episode 4 and I'd like to welcome you to this series. Once again, I hope you guys have been enjoying it so far and if this is your first episode, remember to leave your comment down below with your thoughts on it so far. Remember to go back and watch the other ones before you watch this one, just so you can actually do that because I just realised, what the fuck? This is only been like 20 seconds in, how you want to leave your thoughts? Anyway, let's go see what these guys over here are doing. Alrighty. So, what are you doing, Lucan? I really want a Pikachu, so I'm trading my Clefairy for one. Yeah, well, um, sure. I've traded Pokemon with that kid over there. Yeah, I had two Pikachu, so I figured I might as well trade one. What the hell you want a Clefairy for? Hi, glad to meet you. That's unfriendly of you. How about saying hi back? So come on, tell me about yourself. I'd love to hear your profile. Tell me something good about yourself. What's your profile? Um, yes? <laughs> What's your pro- Wait, what? Um... I am, I am, I'm a, a, uh, I am a, what am I, what? I am a people, um, I'm a babe, uh, <laughs> um, sure, <laughs> what? I am a Pokemon friend. Hmm, your profile really says something about who you are. What the hell about I know you better? It makes us what the fuck? <laughs> what? Holy shit, those eyes. Uh. Oh god. I can actually hear this thing singing. It reminds me of that fucking thing where, like, the fucking. Uh, I forget what this is with, with, the, with the one with me where, like, Jigglypuff is singing after they did that, um, thing. The little maze thing, it's like really old, but... Yeah, what? Team Rocket is at Mount Moon? Well, what are you gonna do with it, you fat cunt? Oh my god, speaking of fat people... Oh, I already talked to this guy, yeah, okay. Oh my god. <laughs> well, this video here is definitely gonna be a little bit odd. Because of... I have been recording these last couple videos in a grind, so I can have them prepared for the week because I'm hoping to upload this daily and it's going to take a lot of editing getting the stuff prepared so out of the way this is it for museum you have to pay to get in but it's worth it see you around um considering it's like walking off straight back to where you probably came from ah uh, man hey yes yes it's fifty dollars for our child's ticket would you like to come in you call me a motherfucking child I got a whoop your ass with my princess and my blaze. Ah, look at this old cunt, you probably have to pay more of me something. I should be grateful for my long life. Never did I think I would get to see the bones of a dragon. Um, are you saying you enjoy seeing dead Pokemon? What are you on about? I want a Pikachu, it's so cute. I asked my daddy to catch me one, a spoiled brat. <laughs> yeah, a Pikachu soon, I promise. Yeah, uh, between me and you, that's never gonna happen. This mother running a SpaceX. Really, nigga? That's it? My god. What do you have to say, faggot? Moonstone, huh? What's so special about it? it? Looks like an ordinary rock to me. You look like an ordinary rock to me. July 20, 1969. Humankind first set foot on the moon that day. I brought a color TV just so I could watch it. That. Okay. I kinda don't care. God. Did it actually happen in that year though? I honestly can't remember. Ah, uh, well, guess it doesn't matter too much. Ah, let's see, what's her? Uh, let's see, let's see. Okay. Fairy came from the moon. That's what the rumor is. They appeared after moonstones fell from Mount Moon. Alrighty. Peter City Gym. Need a Brock. The Rock Salt Pokemon Trainer. Ah, so I just wanted to quickly say that my Charmander is a decently high level, but I'm gonna go quickly grind up my princess until she gets to level 10 because I think she's a little bit too low right now. So I'll see you guys after I make my quick cut. You guys really won't believe this. I just spent 30 minutes grinding, and no, 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 I don't mean I just went away overboard. What I mean is. I accidentally clicked escape when I was meant to click tab because for some reason tab does what escapes are meant to do and they quit out of my Pokemon game. And 
with you knowing I recorded this right after my last one, I didn't save, which is my number one key rule for Pokemon. So let's save right now before I do something stupid. Oh my god, because it would be absolutely terrible if I had to, you know, just grind all over again. Because I literally had to do everything from the last episode all the way up to here, all over again. But anyway, I did recatch Princess, so don't you worry. I haven't actually checked out its nature yet, but anyway, we have our level 14 Blaze, we already know that, but we now have the Relaxed Nature Princess Normal Flying level 10 with the stats which seem okay, it has some good attack and speed, so I'm not complaining, and it also has Gust, so it actually has a decent move, but anyway, we are here at Brock's Gym, the, is it, the, wait, I'm not even going to say the name because I, Computer City Pokemon Gym. Alright, for some reason I was gonna say like Pedal Bear, but what the f okay. I'm getting myself confused. But let's do this. Let's see what this old man has to see. Hiya! Do you wanna dream big? Do you doubt a dream of becoming the Pokemon champ? I'm the trainer, but I can advise you how to win. Let me take you to the top. Sure, man. Alright, let's get happening. The first Pokemon out in the match is at the left of the Pokemon list, but changing the order of Pokemon, you may gain an advantage. Try a different order to see your apprentice party. Whoop. What? <laughs> There's only like one dude here? I thought there would have been a little bit more than that, Brock. God, you're getting a little bit lenient now, aren't you? Okay, let's see if we can actually get Charmed to evolve, you know, that'd be so cool, dude. Alright, uh, Metal Claw. Hopefully this does a little bit of damage. And surprisingly we are only level 10. I kinda wasn't expecting that. And I was kind of expecting that to do a lot more damage being a metal core, but yeah, whatever. At least I'm still destroying it, mate. Sucked in. Also, I brought another potion, so hopefully if worst comes to worst, we'll be able to make it out on top. And it's good that I brought my Pidgey up to level 10 because it's the same as this, although he has a disadvantage. It's a level 10, so yeah, it can't be that bad. <laughs> I didn't want to go over leveled because I wasn't really sure what it would be. Ah, man. My accuracy film, that's not too good. Scratch. And thinking of it, I did get the main key from a few episodes back. We would have been in an even better spot right now, but Metal Claw does what it's meant to do. Oh, so while I was actually grinding to get back up to this point, I actually saw a Pikachu. I was just like, what? I forgot you could get those things here. And back in the um the forest, I should say. God. I was just like, ah, uh, should I start recording a catch here? And I was like, nah, I don't want Pikachu. <laughs> it would have been cool, but nah, no point. Anyway, we're actually getting ourselves demolished. Please, why are you being a useless piece of shit? Oh my god. His defense is just rising like crazy, and we keep missing out attacks. What? What? Dude, Blaze, you're meant to be strong. You're meant to be tough. You're meant to actually do damage. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, God, this is going to be actually pretty tough because, you know, it might actually just be worth going out to Pidgey because what was his only attack? Uh, not too sure, you know what? Let's go to Fiji. Uh, I kinda wanna push and blaze just in case, but we should go to Fiji. Alright, Princess, do this. You know what? He's gonna send attack me, so you know what I'm gonna do back to you? I'm gonna send attack you, little bitch. Yeah, suck on that. His accuracy fell. You scratch. Alright, doesn't do too much damage, so let's keep sand attacking him. Hopefully he will start missing every attack, and since we switched out, hopefully, just hopefully, Pokemon Fire Red has the logic where if you switch out a Pokemon, it gets rid of all debuffs, so that help a lot. Hopefully he has high defense now. Ah, dude, he's just gonna keep grinding his defense. Hmm. You know, I'm just gonna send attack one more time, and then I'm gonna start attacking this guy. Because of that, it's kinda good for us, I guess. Oh, see, he's already starting to miss. So, let's gust him. Let's see how much damage this does. Ah, uh, oh, shit. This is actually very good. We should probably switch back out to Charmander, you know. But I kind of want to see if Princess can take this one. Level 10 versus level 11. Come on, Princess, let's do this, little shit. Alright, scratch, miss. 
Man, Sand Attack is so OP in this. Holy shit. God, I remember when I first started playing Pokemon, I would get rid of all attacks like that. I'd get rid of all debuffs, all buffs for myself. I'd be like, fuck that, it doesn't do damage. But nowadays, you kind of need them. You use them if you play strategic and you play logically and you play like you want to take down the opponent in success. God, <laughs> think about how much I've changed as a player and how much we've all probably changed as a player. Anyway, dumb. Like, this isn't time. Measures distance. Um. What the fuck? What kind of fact was that, little faggot? Wait. Pretty hot. What the fuck? Okay, man. But not as hot as Brock. Um. Okay. Um. Whatever, bro. Whatever. Think I'm hot? Sure. Go ahead. I mean, I know I'm pretty hot, especially in my blaze, but it's whatever. Okay, so let's go over and heal up our Pokemon. Now, if I remember correctly, Brock has an Onyx and... Two, I feel like saying two Geodudes, but I really feel like that's not the case at all. Ah, can't remember. You know what? Let's find out. Because, like, it's literally right here, so why not? <laughs> okay, this is gonna be a little bit challenging. I got a whole episode. We're taking a block. Block. What's God, I can't speak for shit. Oh my god. Also, I just want to quickly say that these the last few episodes probably have been really awkward. But that's simply because of... Oh my god, it's actually decently late. And everyone's probably listening to me like, What the fuck are you doing? So I'm kind of trying to keep it down. Trying to like not go a little bit too enthusiastic and crazy and shit. But at the same time, trying to keep it entertaining and fun for myself. So I have a wait. Let's get right into this. And take on Brock, our first gym. So you're here, I'm Brock, I'm pure as a gym leader. My rock hard bull power is evident even in my Pokemon. My Pokemon are all rock hard and have a true gift, determination. Rats around my Pokemon are all the rock type. Fwahaha! <laughs> you're going to challenge me knowing that you lose? That's the trainer's honor that compels you to challenge me. Fine then, I'll show you my best. Bring it on, little nigga. Bro, you're blind. You can't even see. So how are you gonna command my Pokemon, little shit? Yeah. Dear dude. Well, well it's kinda right. It's one of them, not two. But anyway, that's medical his ass. Come on, please fucking put that little metal creep on your arm and slash his face. Ah shit, I already done a quarter damage. Defense kill. Ah, it's gonna be one of these cuts. No, I'm just glad he doesn't have like a whole bunch of super potions and shit like that because oh god that'd be irritating. Although, I can't remember if- oh, attack roost, that's actually really good for us. Huh. But I can't remember if Brock actually uses potions or if even in first gen in general uses potions. I'm pretty sure they do, but I just don't think they do yet. Um, how the hell did you miss that? Really? Oh my god. Good. Slice him up, slice him nice. What the fuck? Really? Really? <laughs> oh my god. Come on, Blaze. You should be able to do this. Go. Scorch his ass. Burn him. Yes, yeah, sucked. You're not very effective, but you still lost me, little faggot. Fainted. 220 XP. I feel like saying 300 XP, but. I was just off. Okay, we have a high special attack, a decent attack, decent defense. Alright, meant speed, not defense, whatever. That was alright too. I will not change because this will absolutely obliterate my princess and I do not want my princess to die because I always protect my princess and I have a way. Metal Claw is ass. My god. He's actually a lot more under level than I thought he would be. No, I'm not complaining. Rock Tomb. Ah, shit, the X. God, I remember this doing so much damage. Holy shit. Speed fell. Ah. Bind. Oh my god. Blaze was squeezed by Onyx's bind. So, Rock Tomb. With it's super effect. <gasps> Yo! Yo, Blaze came through. Blaze annihilated his ass. Suck on that shit, Onyx. Fuck you. I thought I was actually going to have a little bit of a challenge, but no, bro. Suck on that shit. Yeah. Fuck yes. Now that was sick. I took you for granted and so I lost. 
As proof of your victory, I confer on you this, the official Pokemon Legion Boulder Batch. Yeah, bro. Give me that shit. Give me, give me, give me that shit. Suck the income. You and your Asian eyes can't take me on. And look at how close we are to leveling up. Holy shit, dude. Now that's gonna be sweet. Of course, the Pokemon wants to know, but we flash to use it. Wait, what? Um, I feel like I skipped something. Wait, take this with you. Um, thanks. A TM technical move contain the technique for Pokemon using a TM teaches a move to a containing. Wait, uh, fuck that. I just misread that completely. A TM is good for only one. This so when you use one. Pick the Pokemon carefully. Anyways, TM39 contains a rock to him. It holds boulders at the throat and lowers its speed. Well, thank you. And what else do you have to say? If there are all kinds of trainers in this huge world of ours. You appear to be very gifted as a Pokemon trainer. So let me make a quick suggestion. Go to the gym and I don't know how to uh, uh, pronounce that and test your abilities. Oh, well, thank you, Brock. I'll gladly take that advice. You know, I kind of want to end this episode off with a bang if you get what I mean because we did ah you know what too much hype for one episode we wouldn't be able to handle it nah next episode we are definitely gonna get our Charmeleon episode 5 where the big glass of fire comes in Charmeleon the blaze stage 2 alright god that's gonna be hell cool I cannot wait to see that god that's gonna be amazing Speak about that, my little charmer growing up, I can't even know what the fuck I'm saying, I'm literally turning into a retard. But anyway, let's quickly do a little recap. So, we have finally gotten the boulder badge. This is our fourth episode, and we have gotten that shit right there, as you can see. God, I wonder how long it's going to take for us to get our next badge. Hopefully not as long, and hopefully we can catch some more Pokemon along the way. So here we go, our charm and the likes nature men pack down at level 5. Look at his stats, doing alright there. Got some decent special attack and speed, always like that. And his ability is Blaze, look at that, it's his own name. Of fine move in a pinch. Alrighty, and then we have our princess with the keen eye and the relaxed nature. Met everyone at level 3 with these nearly balanced out stacks. Damn. So, this is what we have ended up with after the gym. So, is that good? Or is that good? I don't know. You tell me. But have we? You know what? Before I forget, let's save this because you always need to save, just in case. All right, here we go. Saving. Did not turn off the power and completed. Alrighty. So if you guys have enjoyed this episode of Pokemon Fire Red, remember to leave a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and I will catch you guys next time. Peace out. Bye bye. Leave your thoughts of the series on the comments down below. And this will in fact be the last episode of this grind. So hopefully next episode I'll be a lot more enthusiastic, or you know, just be a lot more loud or whatever the hell. Because right now I'm trying to be quiet, as I've already said. But anyway, peace out. Bye bye. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace. Let me get a pop when the beat goes.